Protests erupted on DePaul's Lincoln Park campus after students gathered in the quad in opposition to DePaul hosting a controversial speaker. That there is some more racism and discrimination going on in this campus. I'm here on the quad at DePaul where these protesters are now marching to where Milo Yiannopoulos is speaking to protest his being involved in speaking at DePaul University. Racist, sexist, anti-gay, right-wing bigots, throw it away. While protesters moved from the quad to the student center where the event was held, supporters of Yiannopoulos lined up out the door in anticipation to see him speak. I like the way he speaks and how he doesn't go against the, uh, the normal flow of social media. As you can see nowadays, it's very baby down. People don't really like to hamper the freedom of speech, and Milo kind of likes to speak his mind, and I like it. I think they're allowed to protest. That's their right. They have the right to protest. We have a right to see Milo. What started as a calm protest started to escalate when a protester and a cameraman began fighting and claiming they were each violating the other's safe space. The protesters then moved inside the student center in an effort to cancel the event. They can keep us out of room, but they can't keep us out of the student center. I decided to join in because I knew Milos was going to be on campus and I know um, his hate speech and what he incites um, and so I'm not um, for that. Temperatures continued to rise inside as protesters and the same cameraman continued to clash resulting in the cameraman being escorted away by security. <laughs> Things continued to escalate when some protesters tried to enter the event which was already filled to capacity. <laughs> to protest within the event they should have gotten tickets because I, I believe there was supposed to be something to that fact happening so um, they should have done their protest within the event. Which is exactly what was happening inside. I mean, hello, A group of protesters stormed the stage sir, and took the mics away please, from Yiannopoulos sir, and the moderator. Sir, there appeared please, to be no reaction from security sir, at the event. Shortly after, Yiannopoulos left the student center to reportedly march to the president's office, which is when his supporters and the protesters followed suit and ran through the streets of the quad of DePaul's Lincoln Park campus. I'm here on the corner of Fullerton and Kenmore, where protesters and supporters of the speaker at DePaul today have been running around campus after the event was ended early due to the protests. People running around, you guys, are you guys with? What are you guys doing here today? We're supporting Milo. No, we're just here to All the way. Uh, wait, did you guys see him speak? Yeah. We tried to. Uh, what happened inside? Well, the Black Lives Matter protesters, they just came and they caused a ruckus and didn't let him speak. DePaul University's college Republicans issued a statement saying, What happened tonight at our Milo Yiannopoulos event is a sad verdict on the American campus today. We wanted to put on a good event bring some new perspectives to the modern issues of our day and have some fun. Regrettably, militant protesters decided to hijack the event. On Wednesday, the day after the event, President Holschneider issued a letter from Normandy, France, where he is leading a mission trip and visiting the graves of fallen World War II soldiers. The letter was directed at all members of the DePaul community. Holschneider said that while generally he does not respond to speakers of Mr. Yiannopoulos' ilk, as he believes they are more entertainers and self-serving provocators than the public intellectuals they purport to be, it was still wrong for the protesters to interrupt the event. In order to show DePaul how strong we are. A few days after Father Holschneider's letter, several groups voiced their opposition to his comments, specifically citing his apology to DePaul Republicans for their event being canceled. The Black Student Union criticized what it called the continued trend of hate speech on this campus being deemed acceptable under the guise of the right to free speech. And the DePaul Feminist Front called for the resignation of Father Holschneider, saying, quote, You have shown us that you do not support marginalized communities and that instead of eradicating institutional violence on our campus, you continue to encourage it. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! On May 28th, the Provost and Vice President for Student Affairs sent an email to the DePaul community addressing what they called the intimidating incidents that have occurred at DePaul the week of the protests. They say these have created an unsettled and tense campus environment in which many students feel aggravated and in many cases fear for their personal safety. The email said these incidents included derogatory language found on campus, online and phone harassments of students, faculty and staff, profane leaflets in one of the Lincoln Park campus buildings, and what appeared to be a noose found on a campus sidewalk. The email outlined various steps DePaul is taking to address safety concerns. Among these are additional public safety patrols, extending the Lincoln Park escort service to 24 hours, increased visibility of student affairs staff, and information tables periodically open on both the Lincoln Park and Loop campuses. For Good Day DePaul, I'm Eric Traphagen.